G'day, I'm Richard Felstead. Today, we are visiting the Wodonga Show in Wodonga, Northeast Victoria, Australia. The Pollard Archway, named after Wodonga Councillor C.F. Pollard, was originally situated on the Lincoln Causeway between Albury and Wodonga until the Lincoln Causeway was duplicated in the early 1970s. The archway now graces the entrance to the Wodonga Showgrounds. He doesn't need a face washer, he licks his eyes clean with his tongue. Can you lick your eyes for me? I can lick my nose, but I shouldn't brag about that, should I just? Look at that big fat tail. Now, he's 15 years old, so he is much older than most of you guys. Now, I need someone to come out the front, but who could look at his body, his adaptations, his morphology, look at his camouflage, where do you reckon he might live? Would he live in a desert? Uh, he's been territorial at the moment. So Cameron, he's not telling you a joke and going, oh, oh, oh. he's actually telling you to back off, stay out of my territory, don't eat my food. Now I'll get him out and I'll see if I can make him laugh again. But he's got a bit of sticky tape around his wings today. It doesn't hurt him. It just stops him flying off into the audience. He doesn't like blonde ladies, okay? I don't know why. Bad past life experience, haven't we all? Now, I'm gonna get him out. We're just gonna listen to him. We're not going to touch him. But remember, we need these animals in Wodonga. They eat, them. They eat up the baby snakes, don't they, and the lizards. Now, I'll get him out. See if I can make him laugh. He's got blue wings. That means he's a boy. Girls think that's pretty hot stuff if you're a kookaburra. Come on, Chucky. How'd you come? Come on, step up. Step up. Ooh. Do I look silly? Uh-huh. Give him a clap, why don't Chucky? Oh, I love him. Now I'm going to put him back in there and I'll give him a micey pole for being a good boy this afternoon. Uh, what would happen? They bite you. And some snakes are venomous. If you got bitten, you could, could even end up in hospital. Some people die from snake bites. So if you see a snake, don't pick a big whopping stick up and try and whack it over the head and try and kill it. Leave it alone, walk away, do whatever, but don't kill snakes. They eat the mice, don't they? That's a good job, because if I saw a mouse on the ground here today, you know what I'd be doing? I'd be jumping up into this box, I'd be screaming out for my mum, and I'd be going, help, mum, help, disgusting. I have to think, don't laugh at me. My daughters always laugh at me when I see a mouse. I am <laughs> petrified of mice and rats. That's why I own 200 pet snakes at my zoo. And this snake here is a beautiful black-headed python. Ooh la la. Boys, she's gonna make your heart race today. She is beautiful. And listen, this snake does not sting you. Guess how she kills her food? She wraps around your neck, stops you from breathing, then she goes and swallows you whole. Now, the intriguing thing to me, Hamish, is this snake only needs to eat 10 meals a year. I eat 10 times for breakfast, 10 times a year. How do they survive? How do they keep their bodies nice and warm? What do they do? They sit outside in the sun. They're sun worshippers. Now, I'm going to put this snake on the ground. Don't worry, she's very cool at the moment. She's not going to attack anyone. 
But look at that beautiful black head. Black helps you to heat up quickly in the sunshine, to thermoregulate. Now this steak's big enough to eat a whole rabbit. She can unlock her jaw bones here and here. She can stretch out her skin like a fox and like that. And when she eats a rabbit, it looks like a big fat football inside her stomach. Now, hey, why just saw her poke out her tongue? Was she being rude? Was she being cheeky? What is she doing? She is smelling, sensing, tasting the air. Now, I need someone to come out the front today to help me hold a snake. And I'm... Thank you. 